WCTV Pinpoint Weather with meteorologist Rob Nukatola. Well, good morning, everybody. Let's start on 24 hour temperature cast that wants to get those numbers cranking. I think we're going to see 90s right after lunchtime and probably stay there for several hours. The key will be as always, the showers. Who gets them? Who doesn't? That's why we'll know who stays the hottest. There are showers to the east. That energy that was been trying to circulate and even try to acquire some of those tropical characteristics, bringing some rain and thunder to areas from Jacksonville across the I-95 corridor and trying to move back towards I-75. We'll watch and we'll see how much of that tropical moisture can march west along I-10. I do think that will factor into our forecast for the next couple of days elevating our rain chances, hopefully knocking down some of our temperatures. Now across the southeast, there's really nothing new that's really changing anything up. We had that little sliver of dry air in the middle and upper levels of the atmosphere this past weekend. A little less activity on the radar. It stayed pretty hot all weekend long. Lots of mid 90s. It's 75 right now. The airport in Tallahassee It's 72 in Thomasville, 71 in Valdosta. Maybe not as muggy this morning as it's going to be the next couple of mornings when we start to ratchet up the humidity a little bit more around the region. It's mostly between 70 and 75 gets a little warmer at Wakulla where it's 76 and Apalachicola where it's 77. We'll talk a little bit about dew points. This is how we measure how much moisture is in the air. Dew points over 70 super common this time of the year and it's the icky sticky factor. But when those dew point numbers climb up over 75 or start getting closer to 80, that is really moisture rich air that is uncomfortable outside. It's why the hair does what the hair does. That's why your glasses fog up when you step out of the air conditioning. That is going to continue and I think those dew points will continue to increase over the next couple of days as that tropical moisture marches in our direction. Now with that, and with the sea breezes, the afternoons should feature some more scattered showers, and that's all we're looking at here. Scattered showers. It's not a organized, classified, well-defined tropical system or anything. So likely all it's going to do is just continue to introduce more moisture to the air, and that gives the sea breezes more to work with to shake those showers out of the clouds during those peak daytime heating hours, you know, 3, 4, 5 p.m. Now, the earlier the showers get started, of course, the better chance we have to knock those temperatures down before they get too high and certainly the better chance we have to prevent them from staying so high. But you got to expect a lot of hot, especially today, but even the next couple of days until the showers start doing their thing to cool it off. Winds on the Gulf today start northeast, end up on shore 5 to 15, seas 1 to 3 feet. Not bad for the boaters at all. We'll finish up the high tides before 8 o'clock this morning. Mid 70s, a mixture of clouds and clear. Rain chances still pretty low this afternoon. We'll bump them up to about a 40 or 50% shot for showers, but I think a lot of us are going to spend several hours in the mid 90s. Tonight, whatever showers are going fizzle out, it stays muggy. And over the next couple of days, lots of hot, lots of humid. Hopefully that gives us more showers earlier in the afternoons. Maybe we can lower some of those mid 90s because that heat index, guys, is going to make it feel about 10 degrees hotter than it is.